Hey guys, happy Saturday to everybody. Yay, we made it to the weekend. Hallelujah. I wanted to come on and make a video with you guys, for you guys, I should say, and put Monroe into this adorable little outfit that I got for her. Um, it's dark blue, like it's navy blue, but it looks kind of like black on screen. And it's got the red accents um, and the ruching. I guess we call that ruching. Um, and this is from Jacquardy. So I wanted to put this on her today because it's actually um, after we had like literally like torrential downpours earlier this week, high winds. It was just all sorts of crap weather. <laughs> So, um, she's been hanging out in warm, comfy clothes, and now I want to put her in something pretty. And, of course, chat with you guys, um, because I wanted to address, and this has happened a couple times, um, probably more than a couple times, but I figure it's easy to respond to certain things people are asking me or responding to on some of my videos, and, yeah, so... The, the question that keeps coming up is, um, why don't you follow me? Why, as in, why don't you follow my channel? Please subscribe to my channel. Please watch my videos. Um, any number of variations of that question. And I feel like people are getting offended because I don't necessarily hop on over to everybody's channels that suggest it on my channel. And I wanna explain why. Um, first, let me just say, it's not because I don't want to follow you. Um, it's not that at all, I promise you. Um, the reason why I don't generally, to a lot of new channels or people that have followed me for a while that have channels and they're putting up content, um, it's not because I don't want to follow you or watch your videos. It's not that at all. It's literally that I have only a small amount of time to dedicate to being online, watching videos, um, responding to my own videos or reading all the comments on my videos, things of that nature. And because I don't have a ton of time, like I feel super extended, overextended, I guess you could say, with the number of um, channels that I currently subscribe to. And a lot of them, the bulk of what I watch and follow on a regular basis are channels that I've been subbed to for a really long time, like as in years. Some that I've followed since I've been on YouTube and those are kind of the channels I tend to follow and stick with because I've supported their channels and I like their content. So it's very hard as much as I'd like to say, yep, I'd like to follow everybody that follows me. I would love to say that that could be the case, but I literally just don't have enough time I really wish I did. To be honest, I just, I wish I had time to watch everybody's videos and it makes me feel bad because I don't want anybody to think that I, I wouldn't want to see what videos they're making and see their beautiful dolls and things like that. I just, I, there just aren't enough hours in the day in which to do that. So I, I, I feel bad about it and trust me, I would, I would really love to be able to watch more channels, newer channels. Um, that I haven't been subscribed to. I really would. I wish I had more time for that. <laughs> but it is very time consuming to watch a lot of videos. It's hard enough for me to watch my friends' videos like and, and see them all. There's a lot of videos that my friends put up and um, some of my favorite channels that they put up. This is why I'm oblivious to half of what goes on in, in our doll community and how I can um, avoid... <laughs> knowing a lot of things because I generally just don't, I have to pick and choose how much time I spend and, and whose videos I'm gonna spend watching, spend my time watching any given day. So I will tend to pick based on what's on my list um, that I'm subscribed to and kind of go from there. But I miss a lot of stuff happening because I don't have time to follow everybody. Like. There were some comments made like, you know, I was playing dumb because how would I not know what's going on in the community all the time, every time some drama is happening. And it's like, I don't spend that much time actually watching videos. I just, I don't have the time for that. So that's really how I can avoid a lot of the 
stuff that's happened in our community here and there. There's definitely things I'm aware of, obviously. You guys will know because I post things about it, especially if I feel strongly about them. You guys will know about it. But if it's something that I don't feel I should be involved in, I won't even watch someone's video pertaining to drama or something happening in the in the community. I just, I don't have time for that. <laughs> like, it's not that people aren't important to me because my friends are very important to me. But I can't, I can't fight every fight out there. You know, I... <laughs> I, I just can't. <laughs> so it's kind of stressful because, you know, people make these assumptions about us, about me, and it's it's hard because, like, I don't like letting people down. If people say, oh, I'd really like you to watch um, this video I just posted on my channel, I try very hard if I have time to actually go check out someone's channel and watch their video. I do try. It really just depends on what day I'm, I happen to have time to do it. Um, it's hard, you guys. It's hard. It's a huge balance because I've got a lot of subscribers. I've got so many subscribers. And I love every one of you guys out there. But it is very stressful trying to manage and feel like everybody feels appreciated. It's, it's very difficult. I don't know how the huge channels... Like the really big channels, I don't know how they do it. I really don't because I, I'm struggling with the number of subscribers I have currently. And, you know, it's, a, it's hard. But I want you guys to know that I do really appreciate every single one of you. I promise you that I appreciate and adore every single one of you for taking your time to watch my videos. I wish I could give back more because it's... All of my subscribers, all of you guys out there that have helped grow my channel over the many years I've been here. And I, you know, I do giveaways occasionally, but I also find that the people that seem to win my giveaways are not regular subscribers. So it kind of is a, a tough call to how to give back to the, to the subscribers that really have been with me over the number of years. Because... You know, I appreciate all subscribers. I appreciate everybody that watches my channel, but I feel like sometimes people just pop in and they scour the list of people doing giveaways and that's the only time they comment and then they win something and then it's kind of like a, a little bit of a letdown for me because I'd really like to give back specifically to the core group and people that I know watch my videos on a regular basis. And I know some of the people that have won my giveaways haven't because I've gone back and looked and searched so, I don't know, I struggle with trying to figure out how to give back to you guys because I love everyone out there. And like I said, it's really important for you to know how much I appreciate everybody's time that they take to come watch my videos on a regular basis. It's just, it's amazing. The support I get from you guys is also just, it's like nothing else out there, honestly. I just have such a great support group and... Just feel very lucky to have such a wonderful group of subscribers and friends and people out there that enjoy my channel and, and enjoy and encourage my content, which, you know, for somebody that's been here for a number of years, it's hard to not feel like you're running out of ideas or you not, might not be putting up, you know, really good content that people really still want to come back and see. So then you start questioning like, whoa, well, am I really, am I doing the right thing by still making videos and still even having a channel? Like those questions do come up. For a lot of us um, channel creators, it is it is difficult. I won't lie. It's definitely difficult. And I'm loving this on her. I'll pick this up so you guys can see it on her. But this is so freaking cute. I noticed that checks, checkers on babies' outfits, very much in style right now, I noticed. Um, especially the darker colors, like the blacks and blues and things like that. It's very popular right now in the baby world. So... I didn't realize when I purchased this that it was super popular. I just thought it was a nice color because I love blues and reds on her with her complexion and everything. So I'm glad that it's popular though. <laughs> but I'm really enjoying it on her. I love it on you. And I'm just putting this simple headband with the blue, the navy blue bow on it. I explained to you guys before, like I just, I like simple. Um, especially when it concerns like headbands and things for her. As much as I like the idea of putting bigger, bulkier headbands on her, I generally don't like them once I put them on her. I don't know why. I have no idea why. <laughs> I just, because she doesn't have a ton of hair, like with my dolls that I had previously that had a lot more hair, 
she's very sparsely rooted. I don't want to say sparsely, but she's got a very newborn, shorter hair rooting style. Like, it's she actually looks just like my newborn babies did when they were born. Both of my daughters had hair like this. Then it all fell out and they turned blonde. But <laughs> even though I have, I have like dark, dark, dark brown hair, um, blonde runs in my family on both my ex-husband's side and... Um, my mom's side so it's funny how both of my daughters ended up being blondes um but that's the gene pool but anyways um Monroe totally looks like you know at this stage her being a newborn she looks just like my daughters did very much chubby you know like I picture her to be somewhat around I want to say like um like maybe a week to two weeks old and someone commented that they don't see that in her facial expression and whatever. That's fine. I, I will say this. We all see and view our dolls at a certain age. Um, and I see, I think she is what she, like her age group as being a true newborn is because both of my daughters, well, my oldest daughter, I will say mostly, was very wide awake, bright eyed newborn baby. She was wide awake and very observant literally from day one. And I have newborn pictures of her wide-eyed. She's got almond-shaped eyes, and she's, you know, literally just checking things out. She was the most chill baby, and that's why I can picture her being wide awake, just like Monroe is, but my daughter was, both of my daughters were very chubby. So the fact that she would come out the womb with some chubby rolls, that's what I'm used to. It's also probably why I love this baby so much. <laughs> it's one of the many things about her is that she's a healthy, chubby newborn, and that is what I love. That's what I'm used to. That's probably why I migrate to babies that tend to have some um, some size to them. Um, skinny little newborns, I have never had one of those. I don't know what those are like. My babies were almost nine pounds each. So for me, you know, I like what I like because that's what I'm used to. <laughs> and her with her little chubby legs, She's so much like my kids were when they were born. So that's why I can appreciate her being a newborn, still being wide-eyed. Maybe it's, you know, her little her little pout, but newborn babies have those sad little pouts on their face. And in the right lighting, her facial expression changes quite a bit. It's very interesting to me. Um, part of it is like she has a wrinkly forehead, which doesn't come across in the lighting today. But in different rooms of my house, you can see that she looks a little more stressed out or concerned. Today she's looking like she's just fine and she's just hanging out looking at mom. <laughs> and she's just beautiful. I love her. But her newborn hair, she really does have this beautiful newborn hair, which now it's going to bother me because it's not. I like it to lay a certain way, you guys. But she has a very newborn style hair. So big, big bows and things. I don't know. I just don't love them on her. But look at this little romper, you guys. Tell me what you think. It comes off as like black, but it is navy, dark, dark blue. <laughs> even though her shoes are pretty dark, they're still even lighter shade than this, but I don't mind. It doesn't, doesn't matter. I held up the black shoes because I have the black crying company shoes just like these. And you could tell that this was blue next to that. Um, so it just comes across as a little dark in here, but it's so pretty. And I love, I guess this is done by hand from Jacquardy which is beautiful. And I love the red, just a, just a touch of red. It's so pretty. It's, it's not the usual thing that I put on her, which is why I choose different things like this to decide to put on her and get for her. But you guys let me know what you think of her little outfit. I'm loving it. You're so cute. Super cute. And it's really sunny out here. It's not warm, but it's definitely way warmer and nicer. And it's you know, not a cloud in the sky, so I'll take it. <laughs> it was really cold this morning when I got up, though, because there's no clouds in the sky. But I think it's going to be up into the mid-50s today. Might even get to 60 degrees. I'll take it for as long as we can have nice weather, huh, Monroe? But here she is, guys. I hope you enjoy seeing her. I hope that you guys understand my, you know, why I can't subscribe and follow everybody that asks me to. I will say this, that I will try my, I will try my hardest to try to you know, watch a couple of new channels videos here and there so that I can start, you know, catching more. I will do my best to try to do that for you guys. Um, 
because I, I just want you to know you are very much appreciated. And I do think I will be doing another giveaway. I just have to figure out how I can... I want it to be regular people that watch me on a regular basis type of thing, but it's really hard to kind of figure that out, especially when I think there's a lot of people out there that just search videos that are doing giveaways and then they watch the video and follow just for the giveaway. And the reason why I know that that happened, especially this la the last one I did, is because that person who won the giveaway never contacted me. I still have the outfit and we'll probably do another giveaway for the outfit perhaps or something else, but it will be something nice, I promise. But that's how I know that this person, I kept the video up for a couple of weeks, asked that they reach out to me. That person never contacted me. So I know that she only posted just to see if she could win the giveaway <laughs> or else she would have seen the video. So it kind of frustrates me because I, you know, I enjoy everybody that follows me, but I don't want people just trolling for giveaways. I don't think that that's right, you know. So anyways, that's the struggle. I'll figure it out, but I will be doing a giveaway probably either by the end of this month or the beginning of November, and it will be something lovely. It'll probably be an outfit of some sort or a couple of items, um, but I will definitely let you guys know. And in the meantime, I hope you all enjoy your Saturday and there's little Monroe. All right, guys. Thanks as always for watching. I appreciate all of you. And Monroe and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>